In order to make my Meet the Teacher video, I started with making a presentation in this website called Canva. I use Canva for everything, for all of my design needs. They have um, everything from certificates to newsletter templates, presentations, YouTube intros, infographics, endless amounts of opportunities. And you can also go to custom dimensions here and create anything that you would need, um, whatever size that you would need. So endless opportunities, like I said. Um, in order to get started with the presentation, I went over here to the presentation template and opened it up. And you have two options. You can either start from scratch or you can use their thousands of ready-made templates to the left here. Um, I always go through and see if I have like any ideas that I see. And I kind of always just do a mixture of template and creating my own. So for the meet the teacher, I use this visual arts template and I use this page from there. So let's see how we're going to get started. If I was to start, I am going to first go ahead and go to the text area and they now have this new feature where you can choose these glow letters and neon letters. So I choose one and let's label it meet the teacher. Okay, and now we need to resize it. Okay, so meet the teacher, you can go and change the color, to whatever you want. And then from there, I'm gonna insert in my Bitmoji. So if you haven't already downloaded the Bitmoji Chrome extension, you can access it from anywhere. So I want my Bitmoji to be waving high, or I can type in pose to find all of the emojis without wording. I'm going to right click and copy and simply just paste in to here. And this could be my home screen, my home page, whatever you want. So from there, you can add another page, go to your templates or start from scratch. I chose this template in my Meet the Teacher video where I, were, where I said how many kids I had. So you can go ahead and label this. I have two kids and one on the way and you can edit it there's so many font options that you can choose from especially in the pro version but even with the free version there's just so many great options um and then now you want to make it cute so we're going to go to elements over here and just search for whatever you want so if you were talking about your pets you can type in pet and insert your dog or whatever it might be. There's so many options, like I said. Um, I was talking about my kids, so I'm gonna type in the word kid. And this is one of the options that I found. Um, you can go through and find whatever looks good for you, okay? Um, so again, you keep doing that. I want to show you how I added in my Bitmoji. So I chose, I wanted my Bitmoji to be coming from paper. So I typed in paper and chose this one here. And then I went to my Chrome extension up here and just typed in, I believe it was high. And scroll, scroll, scroll. Look, and here's the one that I chose. So again, copy, paste. Uh -oh. Oh, there we go. So copy and paste, and there she is. So create your slide however you want. There's so many things you can play around with. There's picture effects. There's writing effects that you can use, and you can customize this however you want. Definitely utilize the templates and go through the endless amounts of clip art that they have. Um, in one of my slides, I created a floor. So let me show you really quick how I did that. So go to photos and I wanted a wood floor. So I just typed in the word wood and I chose this one here and I angled it like so. And then I want to go ahead and go to position and send backwards so that it looks like she's on the floor. You can also just have it going like this straight across. Let's 
so that it looks like you are now in a classroom or a room instead of a blank room. Okay, and then you can add other items like a chair or something like that um, to your room to just customize it even more so that it looks like an actual room. Endless things that you can do. Okay, play around with it. Um, after you're done, this is what my final presentation looked like. I also have a video on my channel that goes through my presentation, if you'd like. Um, and another feature that I actually use when creating this is that I put a picture of myself in there. So you can go and let's just Google a picture of a person. So let's take this lady here and go to the website remove.bg. This is a great website to take, make any picture transparent. So all you do is go ahead and put it in the website and download the transparent image that it brings you. And let's go back to Canva and drop it in. And we can have our new image come up and you can place it into your PowerPoint. So when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and press present or go to full screen. And I use the website Screencastify to record myself speaking over my presentation. Since I teach kindergarten, they can't read on their own yet. So I wanted to make sure that my voice was attached to my presentation. So you go to Screencastify and just choose to record your video. When it's done, you're gonna have a complete video ready to go. And then I insert it into Seesaw. Seesaw is the platform that I'm gonna be using to communicate with my students virtually. So I just went ahead and added a activity, assigned an activity where in the instructions, I put the link to my video. So my students will go ahead and click on this picture here. It will play their video and then they'll come back to Seesaw and add a response. So let's see what that will look like for them. And when they add a response, I'm asking them to tell me about themselves and with the instructions to record a video to tell me these different things. I also was able to add my own Bitmoji into this Canvas page through my Bitmoji extension um, again. So all of these things are super useful to download and to use to kind of just make sure that um, it's easy to do for your students and that they have a good introduction since we are going to be teaching virtually beginning the year. So these are my tips and my tutorial for creating my Meet the Teacher. I hope that you guys all enjoyed. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Thank you so much.